Hello everyone, welcome back to an in-depth playthrough of Operation Desert Storm. So today we'll um, play through the first few missions. So I just want to show you, so when you open this game, first off you gotta open it in 256 colors. But when you open this game, you know, it'll do a thing, which was common on old games where I'll ask you, you know, for um, a question from the manual to kind of, it's kind of the way they did security back then. So, um, anyways, the Korean was revealed to Muhammad by what angel? That's just on page 10 of the manual. So the Quran was revealed to Muhammad by the angel Gabriel. So go back and we'll put that in. So at the start of each mission, you kind of have a, uh, the intro screen. So let's start off with the first one. Um, so we're in Kafji, which kind of makes sense, you know, because they, when we were, um, the coalition was protecting the border, that was the first spot, you know, with, they interacted with them on the ground, you know, before the ground invasion was at Kafji, because, you know, they invaded. But anyway, so the Iraqi troops have um, entered Kafji, destroy heavy artillery and enemy tanks. So we got a release and extraction point. Um, we're going to start up here. And we're gonna have to leave down here um, in the bottom right corner. Um, there's uh, some turrets and stuff. It, it's not that bad. There's no mines or anything. So this is a pretty straightforward mission. We're just gonna come down. We're gonna come down and destroy the strategic target. Get down here. Get some equipment. And then we're gonna come around and exit right here. So. And by the way, I should say that. Um, these missions, I have already recorded them, and I'm just going back and watching them and doing adding some commentary on later, because these missions are is, they're pretty difficult to get on the first try, and I don't want to you guys to watch me struggle a bunch. Um, also, the game has no music, so I'll add some music on top to make it a little bit more entertaining. Um, you know, these guys can just easily shoot with your cannon and destroy. You get some good points for doing that. And you definitely want those points because you'll get some, um... you get some more strength on your tank, which will make, you know, some of the later missions a lot easier if you have them. Yeah, these, these tanks are annoying. At the beginning of the game, I didn't know that you could um, go into overdrive and then figure out how to do it, but... Yeah, so I had to go back, plan ahead, and go back for this um, gas. So I'll go back. So I'll, you'll see me. I'll go back and get some more of this stuff. Um, and you'll see I'll go into overdrive later as I kind of figure out the game. It'll make you know dealing with these guys so much easier. But I had a lot of trouble figuring it how how to go to overdrive at first because you have to hold you know, the forward key and the overdrive key simultaneously, and I didn't understand that, because it just, you had to hold them, because the manual just, it's not very clear. And as you can tell, like, I kind of um, improved the resolution a lot, so you can see a lot more of the screen, because I don't want to do, t like, if you do 10, eight, a full 1080, you can see everything. But I felt like I wanted to zoom in a little bit so it's easier to see, you know, you don't have to strain your eyes quite as much to see everything. But, um, yeah. But it's kind of like the less, you know, scrolling you have on the screen, the easier it is to not accidentally run into an enemy. So I'm gonna have to sit down here and wait for extraction for a little bit. Just a few seconds. That's the annoying thing, is sometimes you can run out of gas while you're waiting for your extraction. That's that mission. Um, we got a few things. I definitely didn't get all the points, because early on in the game, I didn't realize that you get extra strength either for your tank. So you, there was more points in that mission that I should have got, you know, from those other items. Um, but we'll start doing that later. I tried to do, you know, as much as I could, you know, to make the mission at least entertaining to watch. So, so here's the second mission. Now we're in 
I don't know how you pronounce that, Daron. Um, I don't even know. I think there was actual mission there, but maybe there was. I don't know. Destroy the munitions depot, land, and there's landmines. So we start up here, um, and we're gonna go all the way down to the extraction is down here. Um, but there's this is the target they're talking about, the strategic target right here. And there's an enemy base up here. So basically, we're gonna have to come around, and all in this middle, there's mines everywhere. So this mission is kind of annoying, but you gotta basically come around, come down, kind of go, you know, in a loop, some kind of, like up and down to get by these landmines, but you'll see what I mean. Let's go. Here we are on the top left, and we are. Sometimes I would would get the, yeah, cause you move with the num uh, keypad, and sometimes I'd have the num key, like, Locked on the wrong thing because I have to restart the game, you know, and enter in, turn off the num lock, or turn it on, I mean, in order to um, put in like the whatever password from the manual to get into the game. So then I'd have to come back and uh, turn it off. So you see, I destroyed that turret with that um, uh, missile, but the tow missile, but the thing is, is that. You know, I shouldn't have done that, and later on I stopped doing that because I realized you only get so many tow missiles, and you know, the bases are worth more points. So you'll see later on, I'll run out of tow missiles, and I'll have to go back, you know, I'll have to um, live with not destroying some of them. So they kind of seem to have mines in a straight line, you know what I mean, up and down, and so I kind of just go till I run into a mine, and then I kind of go down. But I want that tow missile. But I'm kind of taking my time, which kind of sucks, because I can't wait forever, because I need that gas. So I'm gonna kind of zoom past this guy. Time it, and then go. And there I used, wasted another tow missile. <laughs> That's not a problem yet. There's a, I think once you get down here on this mission, there's really not a whole lot to worry about. But um, kind of space out, you know, picking up these uh, the gas canister, the remaining gas canister, just to make sure I have a enough gas. But I got a good amount of gas, so I'm doing well. This mission was I died so many times to those landmines trying to get by them. It was it was kind of a pain. So. But here we go, we'll get that last gas can and we'll be ready to for the extraction in just a few seconds. Yep. Not much to say while you're waiting. So here we go, we got some POWs and assets. So I definitely did better on the score that, that time, but it's still, I wasn't aware of the um, of rewards you could get for doing a mission well, so. So now it looks like we're in Saudi Arabia. We could uh, destroy some munitions depot. So we'll spawn um, or get extracted in this bottom left quadrant or, or yeah, whatever. I guess it's sort of quadrant. Anyways, and then we'll come around and we'll destroy the strategic target. Um, there's a base up here. There's also like this left side. This is all um, uh, poisonous gas cloud area. So we'll need to cross across here We'll need to put on our gas mask so it's kind of a pain because we got to avoid these tanks while we're going across this um, gas mask and then there's a couple um, of those turrets right here um, manning our gunner stations that we'll have to avoid there's also um i can't remember if it's a helicopter or a plane we gotta avoid but um i'm not sure what yeah hostile aircraft spotted yep and I'm not sure what actually CBR is now that I think about it. But anyways, let's jump in to the mission. So we are on the bottom left, and we'll have to try to get some of these items before we go across. Um, again, you can use the overdrive across the gas protection, but I don't think I figured out how to go into overdrive just yet. So I'm going kind of slow. I think I figured it out. I don't know when. 
But there's some gas down here, but I'm not, I'm saving it for on my way back. Actually, look, I did do kind of a boost. Um, so I think I was figuring out how to do it, like, for a split second, but I didn't understand how to hold it. Because I didn't understand that I had to hold both buttons. Um, which is, it's kind of weird. So that the planes, you know, they just appear out of nowhere, so they can be, you know, kind of paid. But yeah, here I'm taking my time avoiding those tanks. And I gotta go back and get that gas, cause I, you know, a big part of this game is saving that gas. So like if I picked up that gas early while I was full on gas, it would have been a huge waste of gas. You know what I mean? And um, I gotta, you know, survive all the way to extraction. So if you take up that gas early on, you're really handicapping yourself for later on. Yeah, getting those tanks is kind of annoying because they're, they're trying to run into you and you can only shoot at an angle, so it's kind of hard to hit them. Especially when you can only have like a few bullets out at once, so if you're shooting very far, it takes a long time before you can shoot again. At first, that first volley from the aircraft is really the only one you gotta worry about. If you can survive that full first volley from the aircraft, you're doing, you're gonna be all right. Cause they just appear and shoot immediately, so it's hard to like um, strategically plan for that. There we go. Didn't do that here. So there's a gas up on the top in the middle, so that's where I'm going because some of the gas um, is always in the same spot. Um, so I need to wait for it. And I should have been trying to get those, um, those extra uh, points, but I didn't understand the value of the points early on. I thought it was just a point system. Because technically you can just kind of go to extraction and kind of wait there, you know, or wait at the gas and not really go destroy everything and get less points, but you know, that's not very entertaining and you don't get as much good stuff for it. Well, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I have beat all the missions already and I'm, I'll be, uh, have the commentary over on all of them, so I'll get these videos out for you quick. See you guys next time.